Hey, what's up, Ticket Mel? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And today there is a couple of updates that I wanted to bring to you guys kind of briefly. There's an update with cash uh, with regards to Darien getting new charges, as well as I missed the clip the other day, or this came out yet. Yeah, well, yeah, the other day I missed a clip with regards to Nancy Grace, where she speaks on Trevor, Cash's father, and she goes in a little bit on Melinda, the bio mom. And she's getting some criticism in the media. So we're going to take a look at that video clip. So this is the reaction portion with regards to Nancy Grace that I apparently missed, which, by the way, if you're unaware about the cash story, uh, I did a live stream, a very comprehensive live stream the other day. So I'll put the link down below. You can go check that out. And I have my daughter with me today. I kept her home from school. So if you hear little noises in the background, that's my daughter. Uh, let's get into it. Age suspect accused of murder. Well, we have shown you the chilling video of a sleeping four-year-old abducted from his bed by a teenage suspect accused of murdering the child moments later. The boy's father, Trevor Gernon, now explaining why he left his son Cash and his twin brother Carter at his girlfriend's home as he reportedly fled town to avoid a court hearing on felony drug charges. When I decided to move back to Houston, I felt it was in the boys' at which we listened to this entire thing the other day. I'll play it again for the people that missed it. But this video was posted to, I believe, his sister's YouTube account. Best interest to not disrupt their routine. This choice I made with best of intentions has resulted in the most horrific outcome. I have paid the most ultimate and painful of price for my poor judgment. And I have to live with this devastation every single day. Nancy Grace has covered this story on her Fox Nation show, Crime Stories, and she joins us now. Hey, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, breaks all of our hearts. You have twins. I mean, I can't even imagine what this mom is going through. She was looking for them, right? And he left them with his ex-girlfriend? That's right. And this is what we know. A lot of finger pointing and blaming is going on right now because the father, Trevor Gernon, skipped town. There's no nice way to put it. He mm -hmm. said he was going to look for a job. The reality is, I've got his rap sheet right here. Mm. He did not want to go into court-ordered rehab, according to some sources. I believe there was a warrant out for him. I read in some articles. Or face a bond forfeiture and have to go to jail. But I look at his rap sheet. He has several simple possessions of a controlled substance. Not dealing, not selling. He was a user at some point. Long story short, do these names ring a bell? Danielle Westerfield, Elizabeth Smart, Isabella Solis. All their fathers were home. And they were stolen. Some of them killed. I think people are pointing the finger at the father because he's an easy scapegoat. He's got a rap sheet. The reality is we try to find reasons it can't happen to us. We live in a nice neighborhood with a nice home. The reality is this perp, Darian Brown, had been staking out that home for weeks. Recently discovered video surveillance from a neighbor, Mr. Alvarez, shows the perp, Darian Brown. I think it's Alvarado. I thought it was Alvarado, but Alvarez, Alvarado, tomatoes, tomato peeking in between an enclosed backyard where the boys were living. He was going to get this boy one way or the other, whether the dad went out of town or whether the dad went to the grocery store. He was going to get this boy. He came back for the twin. Praise God, he didn't get the twin. Oh, my gosh. What do you know about the girlfriend? Because I know she claimed in one of the videos that she misses her son. So... I read one article that people were accusing her of trying to say that she was the biological mother and she wanted money for um, a GoFundMe page. Do you know anything about that? I know a little bit about it. I, I, I do know that these people are really suffering. Mm -hmm. She referred to them as my son because she had taken them in and given them a home. She agreed to take mm. care of them while the bio dad left to really get work and to avoid that court date. But mom is showing up a day late and a dollar short. All right. Where it's was the mom? A day late and a dollar short. Damn, we're going savage. Now, there is um, this whole funeral thing because this woman that was taking care of the kids during the time where Trevor was gone. I hear that she was like banned or, or not, you know, not welcome to the funeral. I also hear there was an article that I just saw recently, I believe, that the father, Trevor, is also banned 
from the funeral. Uh, and then the whole thing with the GoFundMe stuff too. I heard that there was GoFundMe's going on. Supposedly, I read on one article that the woman that was taking care of them allegedly had a GoFundMe too. So it's becoming a mess. They're calling it a media circus right now in Texas. She couldn't find her children. Uh, she says she was looking for them. We don't know the truth of it, but what I do know is that reportedly the perp that took the boy out of his crib at night mm -hmm. allegedly went to high school with the girlfriend's 18-year-old son. So they were in the same class. Did they hang out? Don't know. We also don't know motive. But I can tell you this, barring insanity, this will be a capital murder trial. Mm -hmm. I don't think what she said was too crazy. There was one article, I think it was patch.com, that was calling out a couple of things. But maybe this is me looking at it from a YouTuber perspective versus she's like on, I don't know, national TV. But we all know that's what Nancy Grace is known for as well. And that's probably what attracts her audience anyway. But with regards to cash... Uh, and Darian, so Darian has new charges, okay? In addition to kidnapping and theft, Brown is charged with injury to a child, uh, elderly individual, or disabled individual. The alleged offense is a first-degree felony, punishable by up to 99 years or life in prison. Additionally, he faces a second burglary charge. Those things could be upgraded. The last thing I believe I heard with regards to that is that they're waiting on the forensic analysis i believe or the results to come back with regards to darian i mean so far i've seen two video surveillance from neighbors one where he's like creeping in the backyard and opening up the door and there's like the basketball hoop thing there and then the other one where he's trying to open a car door uh and somebody sent me a picture today with one where it looks like he's in somebody's backyard i don't know where this picture was taken I don't know if it's at the house of cash or somewhere else. I was talking to the members on discord and I showed them the pictures. I'm not entirely sure. To me, it looks like he's wearing different clothing and this is possibly two different nights. I wonder if it's the same car, same area, or if it's different cars just in the same neighborhood. I'm not entirely sure, but he's allegedly been going around trying to open doors, trying to get into people's backyards, trying to get into cars. And some of the things he's wearing in these pictures, too, look similar to the video from the night where Cash was taken. The shoes and the black and white picture here match the black and white picture over there. This other picture looks like he's wearing almost orange sandals um, when he's seen by this vehicle. Here's another picture, and this was captioned, murder suspect caught in homicide. Here's a picture of the suspected murder of the young child. Also heard that he's the same kid breaking ring cameras in the same area. This kid should have been caught and dealt with weeks ago. What happened? Well, that's it for now. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. I would appreciate that. Uh, we have Amelia Davis update coming up with regards to Darian Vence. Um, he pleaded guilty. So we're going to talk about that. And with cash, uh, if you have any any neighbors out there or anybody have any video or bits of information that they want to send with regards to the story, reach out to me, email me, DM me. And yeah, take care of yourselves. Peace.